So I know it's been a very long time since I made a CSGO video, but I figured this was as good a time as any to start. Uh, obviously with the major beginning later today uh, and matches kicking off um, you know, very soon. I wanted to go ahead and make this video to kind of not only promote the major itself, um, but I was specifically making this video to talk about the challenger stage, uh, which is the first portion of the major. Um, and so for this video, I'm not going to talk about any of the legends teams. I'm going to save that for when they do start the legend stage or whatever, uh, the Swiss system, when they get the eight teams out of the, the essentially like the, the challenger stage is what they're calling it, but it's essentially the minor. Um, I'll make a video on the, the eight teams that are already uh, existing from the previous major. But to start, uh, I just want to list all the teams. So there's Cloud9, Flipside, G2, Navi, Vega Squadron, FaZe Clan, uh, Sprout, and Mouse Esports. Uh, and those are the eight teams that were at Krakow that um, did not make the playoffs. So those were the eight teams from the previous major. Uh, and then the eight teams that qualified from the minor system are Space Soldiers, uh, who are Europeans number one seed, Envy, Europe's number two seed, uh, Team Liquid, America's number one seed, Misfits, America's number two seed, Avangar, the CIS region number one seed, Quantum Bellator Fire, the CIS number two seed, uh, Renegades, the number one seed from Asia, and Flash Gaming, the number three seed from Asia, of course, Tai Lu, um, Tai Lu's replacement. Tai Lu obviously has backed out, and so Flash Gaming, who was the third seed, does get to participate in the minor. Um, so I just wanted to give my predictions. Obviously, the top eight teams will move into uh, the legend stage. And, you know, when I look at this, I think there's probably, uh, I want to say there's probably about. 10 teams I think could make it and I'll kind of go through each team and explain um, what I what I think they'll probably end up doing uh, so C9 uh, to start I think they should easily make it to the major uh, it should be 3-0 for them all the way through challenger series I mean unless they you know end up playing like a really good team you know if they play G2 uh, you know if they're both if both teams are 2-0 or phase clan you know both teams 2-0 you play G2 or even you know maybe Team Liquid if you play them then sure uh, it could happen but overall I think Cloud9 should be fine and of course uh, Team Liquid is playing with their coach so you know Team Liquid even really isn't a factor um, so Cloud9 I'm gonna say they'll definitely be making it um, I would guess 3-0 but uh, I'll leave the, the records out of the projections for now because I know there's some stuff that, you know, there's always stuff that'll happen and, and we don't know who their determined matchups are because it's based on how other teams perform. So um, the second team is Flipside. And Flipside is a team that probably will make it uh, as well, lower to the bottom, I would say, of all of the... Uh, teams that do make it, I think that they have a lot to offer uh, in the Challenger Series, but going forward into the Major, I wouldn't really expect them to do anything um, past the Challenger Series. Uh, you know, of course, once we get to the Legend stage, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really see any of the teams that they would play that they'll probably beat. Um, so, I'll predict them to make it, but nothing really past that for them uh, G2 they're the exact same thing as cloud nine they should uh, have a very very easy run to the challenger stage or the legend stage excuse me um, obviously they're probably you know the second or third best team out of all the uh, teams in the challenger stage depending on where you rank cloud nine um, and I think they should probably have no problems getting through um, they're another team that easily could go 3-0, but um, G2 fans, you know, definitely don't be worried about your team in the challenger stage. Um, and even, you know, with the inconsistencies we've seen from them in the past, 
uh, just because of the style that they play. Uh, I doubt that that'll have any effect on them in this scenario because most of the teams they play, even if they do these you know ridiculous force buys we've seen in the past, they'll just win the rounds anyway because they just have more skill than than the opponents that they're probably playing. Um, so the fourth team is Navi, and Navi for me is a tier below Cloud9, G2, and Faith Clan. Um, but I think they are probably better than Flipside. Uh, you know, saying that they already were probably better than Flipside, and they took Flipside's uh, best player. So Navi should make it. Uh, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't. Um, and you know, they're probably like the fifth or sixth team to make it in. Maybe even fourth, depending on how good they play. If if Simple and Electronic really are, uh, you know, carrying and and putting on great performances, then then you know. They should be they should be just fine either way, but you know their seed could be you know adjusted depending on how how good those two do. Uh, and then Mouse Sports, another team just like Navi for me, they should be fine. Uh, I don't see any reason why they don't make it. Um, yeah, I mean they're above Flipside under Cloud9, G2, and Phase again right in their fifth sixth area uh, with with Navi. Uh, and then Sprout, who is Crystal, Innocent, Zen, Dennis, Spitty. Um, this team is interesting to me. I don't see. I don't really know a lot. I mean, obviously, this is the um, Penta team, essentially, from the last major, who didn't really show us anything besides in the minor. They beat Envy, I believe, if I, if I remember correctly. But... I don't really buy into them. I mean, they could be like an eighth seed maybe, but overall, for prediction's sake, I'm going to um, say that they're probably out. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna say that they're probably out. So, um, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see a way realistically in, uh, in which I can put them in the top eight for this. You know, I've already filled out my first five spots with Cloud9, Flipside, G2, Navi, and, and Mouse Sports. And, and with the teams that I'm looking at remaining here, I don't really I don't really think that they, they have a chance. Um, or at least, that you know, maybe they do have a chance, but I'm not going to predict them to say that they have a chance, I guess, is, is what I'll say. So, FaZe Clan, uh, they're the best team in all of the Challenger series better than most of the teams already that have legend spots. I mean, they're what top, top two, top three team in the world. So uh, they'll clean up in the challenger series and, and they'll be fine. Um, don't really need to talk about them too much. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that, that they're going to do well. Uh, and then Vega squadron. I don't see any way that they make it into um, the legend spots or, um, not into legend spots, but I guess the legend stage. Um, you know, they really haven't shown me anything from the last major and on uh, that they have gotten better or that they will be better than they were in the last major. And honestly, I think the teams that they're going to have to play in this challenger stage are a lot better than than some of the teams they probably played uh, in the minor to qualify. So, uh, yeah. So Vega Squadron and Sprout, I'm going to leave out. Um, so... Just to keep along with my predictions, I've got Cloud9, Flipside, G2, Navi, Mouse Sports, and Phase in right now. So that is six of the eight spots. Um, and yeah, so Vega Squadron and Sprout are out for me. Uh, and now I've got Flash Gaming. No chance for them. I really don't want to talk about them too much. I mean, I really actually didn't know a single player on this Flash Gaming team. And I have no reason to suspect that they will do anything considering they didn't even make it out of the Asia Minor and are literally only here because, um, you know, they were given the spot uh, because of a, a forfeit. So Flash Gaming, no chance. Uh, Quantum Bellator Fire, again, um, you know, they did earn their spot on like Flash Gaming, but they probably have the same odds. I mean, again, I don't know like a single player on this team to even, you know, talk about to try to describe to you guys. Um, so they are just, um, you know, another team that just doesn't have a chance in this one. Um, 
I'm going to try to eliminate a Vanguard as well. Another team doesn't have a chance for me. Again, another team I don't know any of the players on. Uh, and the CIS Miner seem to produce uh, some pretty poor talent overall. So that eliminates those three teams right off the bat. And the final five teams coming from the Miner, I think, is where things get interesting. So you have Space Soldiers. Team Envious, Team Liquid, Misfits, and Renegades. Now, based on my predictions, only two of these teams will make it uh, out and into the champion stage, or the legends stage, excuse me. Um, see, the thing for me is, uh, I think Renegades is really good. I think Nifty and Naf are two uh, fairly underrated players. I mean, Naf obviously has gotten a lot of credit recently, but I think Nifty is one of the, the better oppers, at least um, from North America, and he doesn't really seem to get any credit for it for some reason. Uh, but uh, I do buy into Renegades a little bit. Um, and to be honest with you, looking at it, flip side, is probably kind of in the bubble with all these teams so you know realistically you're talking about six teams probably fighting for the six seven or eight seed in this minor or uh, you know in the minor uh, part of the of the major um, but so renegades for prediction's sake I'm gonna say are gonna make it uh, I think that you know, it's obviously dependent on who they get matched up with, but I think Renegades is better than most of the other teams in the minors, and I could easily see Renegades beating Flipside. So I'll take Renegades as one of my teams. Uh, and then, so that, what, that's, I mean, I guess that's technically six, yeah, six of eight um, based on my predictions currently. And then... Team Liquid, I don't think will probably make it out. I mean, they have such good players, but they're playing with a coach as a stand-in, and you know, I've I've not seen Zeus play. I mean, I would assume you know, since he found out that he was going to be playing, he's been hitting DMs, playing pugs, all that kind of stuff. But even then, like, you know, I would imagine that at most he's probably like a B plus player on ESEA or something like that, maybe A minus if he's really that good, but. I don't think I can really buy into to Team Liquid when they have to use their coach as a stand-in. So for, for that reason, I'm going to take Team Liquid out. Um, so that leaves me Space Soldiers, Envious, and Misfits for two spots. And... Off the bat, I want to say Team Envious and Misfits. Those are the two teams that jump out for me. Um, and the main reason why is that Space Soldiers, every, you know, every time Space Soldiers has come to a LAN against, you know, good teams, and I guess, you know, really Team Envious and Misfits aren't like insanely good teams, but every time Space Soldiers has come to big time lands like they i know uh obviously they went to esl1 cologne and and a couple other lands kind of, of of that caliber anytime they've come to a land with top teams at it they've seemed to struggle and i realized that they beat envy in the minor um but i just i just can't buy into to space soldiers i don't i don't think that they have what it takes to play at this high of a, of a stage. Um, you know, I think that the players themselves are good, but I don't know that they can beat Team Envious when, you know, there's so much pressure to perform when you're, you know, essentially at the major already. Um, and it'll be interesting to see, obviously, uh, because, you know, if they can perform against uh, some of these teams, then, you know, they do have a chance. 
Um, and obviously, if I look at the schedule, they play Sprout in their first match, which is a pretty good match for them to, to try to warm up and, and you know get used to playing at this level. Um, but I just don't think, you know, I just don't think they have it. I don't see a way in which Space Soldiers can, you know, make it all the way through this bracket. I mean, you know, theoretically, even if they beat you know, Sprout. They're going to go 1-0, and and that puts them against the potential of Cloud9. Um, you know, maybe Misfits. Misfits and Flipside is kind of a toss-up match for me to start, um, but that puts you against Cloud9 or G2 or Navi or Mouse Sports or FaZe or Renegades, and, you know, those are all the teams that I've previously named that I think will probably make it over them. So, you know, for me, Space Soldiers is starting this tournament 1-1 one one at best, um, and you know, if they go one and one, then, you know, depending on how it happens, maybe they do, uh, get out, but you know, they could easily start zero and two, uh, depending on how well Sprout is playing at the start. I mean, obviously Sprout has at least been here before, right? They, they were at the last major, they earned their spot previously under Penta and we'll see what they have, but that is the top eight. I'll go through it again. So my top eight and the teams that I think will make it out um, of the challenger stage of the E-League major is Cloud9, Flipside, G2, Navi, Mouse Sports, FaZe Clan, uh, Renegades, and Team Envious. Was that, was that six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, yeah. So, you know, those are the eight teams that I think will make it out. Um, Misfits and Team MBS again is is a toss up for me. So, you know, I kind of put them both at at eight slash nine. But, um, you know, overall, I think the challenger stage matches should be pretty good, especially when we start getting to to the two and O teams, the one and one teams. Um, you know, that are that are going to be pr fairly evenly matched. Um. And overall, you know, I think it's going to be a great major once we get past the challenger stage. Uh, the legend stage has some really good teams in it. Um, and we should be adding more good teams, uh, of course, from the challenger stage. So if you guys did like the video, please subscribe, uh, like, and comment. And as always, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, and I am hoping to put out some more CSGO videos about the major and just overall going forward. Um, I'm going to be potentially casting some ESEA matches as well. Um, and I'll be live streaming those, but then also uploading them here. So if you do want to see that, um, you know, let me know on social media and I can definitely try to record those and get them uploaded here as much as possible. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we will see you later.